Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to round trip a photo from On One Photo Raw to Luminar and then back into On One Photo Raw. It's a little bit of a dance, and I'll take you through it step by step. If you own both of these packages, this video is for you. If you're thinking about getting one or the other, uh, I'd appreciate it if you check the links below. I've got pointers to free tutorials for both of them, and if you use one of my links, I'll get a little bit of credit in helping you get into some of this software. So let's start here in Photo Raw. We're starting in Photo Raw because Photo Raw has support to round trip a photo to another photo editing application. As long as that app can run standalone, you're good to go. So I have this photo here, I'll make this big. I've done some basic edits on it, just something simple. Or I've done some cropping and some basic things in develop. So there are some changes applied to this. Those changes are tracked in on one's you know, database, sidecar files, all that type of stuff. Now, if I want to edit this in Luminar, the very first thing is I'm in browse. I do not do this from the edit module. You come back to browse, right click on the photo, and then you will choose send to Luminar 4. If you don't see this option, it's the very first time you're sending something to Luminar from on one, choose send to other application. You'll get a pop-up and you just navigate to wherever Luminar is installed on your computer, pick that, and then Photo Raw will remember it. So I'll choose send to Luminar 4. I get a few choices here. I can either send the original photo, no edits at all, or I can send a copy of the photo with my on one edits applied. This is typically what you want to be doing because you've started in on one, you've done some changes to it, you want to keep those changes going along. If you're making a copy, you need to specify what the options are for that copy. If you see the dialog looking like this, hit copy options, so you can have the choices. I like to use TIFF for Luminar, that seems to be the best choice, uh, Luminar likes TIFF files. And I always keep things at Profoto, 16-bit, the highest amount of bits, the highest color space, largest color space I can use. So uh, until I need to, I won't drop any data on the floor. At this point, I'll hit Edit. In the background, on one I'll start the process, create that TIFF file, and then launch Luminar saying, open this new file photo I've just made. Now once Luminar opens, then we can do further edits. Once the file is prepared, we land in Luminar. We can see the changes that I had in On1 are still here. The photo looks exactly the same. It's just now in a TIFF format. Short sidebar on what's going on with Luminar. Now, Luminar can run standalone, as we know. From On1, when it gets launched in, flip over to the library mode just really quick. You'll see this single image edits. So Luminar can open up a photo as a single image edit. It's like a special editing mode where you're not really adding something to a Luminar catalog. You're just using Luminar to edit it. I have a separate video on what that's all about. You can check it out. I'll make sure there's a link below if you're interested in that. Uh, this becomes important because, as you'll see, when we get to the stage of finishing Luminar edits, we need to save those somehow outside of Luminar. We'll get there. Let's get back into edit. And let's, uh, let's just do some basic things here, just so we know we've done something. Let's add a little bit of structure. Uh, we'll go into the creative area. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and add sun rays. That'll be an obvious something that we've done. Let's say place the sun. We'll probably place it you now kind of just outside the window there. We can see some beams coming in. You know, um, maybe something, probably want less penetration, so it's hiding behind that wall. We'll increase the sun rays. So, you know, okay, we see some, some basic change there. Tell you what, even so we can make sure we see stuff, we'll add a little like mystical feel to it. It'll brighten and a little bit of glow to those highlights. Say, so, okay, so I've finished my edits in Luminar. I want to now be done with this photo and go back to Photo Raw. Well, if you've worked with plugins before, right now you'd be looking for a save button or an apply button, and you look, there's, there's nothing here, right? I've got nothing up in my toolbars for saving, applying. I'm in this uh, single image edit mode of Luminar. Now, what do I do? Well, you've got to export the photo from Luminar back into uh, whatever folder you started in in Photo Raw. This is the part that's a little, it's a little disjoint. Uh, you know, there's not really a, a traditional plug-in model here when you're doing an edit from on one into Luminar, but that's what we need to do. So I'll go up to this export button here. I'll say export to image. I want this to be, you know, um, the best photo that I can get. So I want the original size. I want my highest color space. I want this to be a TIFF. 
all of my uncompressed things. And the last thing I have to do is choose the directory, the folder where I want this to go. I'll hit save and it'll send it back out there. I'll let this do its thing. And then when we get back into Photo Raw, we'll see what we have at the end. Luminar's finished its export, and now I'm back in Photo Raw, taking a look at, I have still had the same raw file on the screen here. Let's press the G key and see what we have. Okay, we've got three photos here, right? what's going on? Well, let's uh, review what we've done so far. In Photo Raw, we started with the raw file, added a few changes, and said, hey, I wanna send this over to Luminar. On one said, great, no problem, tell me what you wanna do. I'll create a TIFF file for you, that's what we told it to do and it stored that TIFF file in the same folder as the raw. So this right here, you see, you know, copy one TIFF, T-I-F, one F, <laughs> it's important, we'll see in a minute. That's my, that's the copy that, that on one made for us. Then we got over into, or into Luminar and we did some changes and then exported the changes into a third file. That is this one here, T-I-F-F, so that's how Luminar names TIFF files with both Fs. So what we have is we have the raw file, the TIFF file that ON1 created for us, and these two will be identical. All we did was take this raw file and export it to a TIFF that happens to be sitting in the same folder. Then this was opened by Luminar, we made changes to it, and then we exported changes into a new copy. So if we look at these two photos side by side, you can see some of the differences here. The one with the blue border is what was in on one. The one without the blue border, which is my TIFF file, that's got a little bit of this extra glow and some things we added in Luminar. So in the end, I have three files right now. I don't need all three of them. I can get rid of the intermediary step. So back in the grid mode, this one with the single TIF, I can go ahead and delete that. And I do not need that photo anymore. And I'm left with the two images that I care about. I'll keep my raw around always, always keep the raw file, and I'll keep the TIFF. So that is the, the round trip process. It's not as straightforward and clean as a traditional plugin model. And, and some of that has to do with, uh, you know, ON1 does not have that plugin ecosystem that something like Photoshop does, but also because Luminar has this interesting single edit mode where the changes that are made, when you're done with the changes, those are stuffed away in Luminar's catalog. And in order to get them out, you've got to export another file. So the, there is a way to do this round trip. I just showed it to you. It's just a little extra you know, massaging of the end photo files, unless you want to keep everything around, which I don't see uh, why you'd want to do that. So uh, that is the story. That's the end of this uh, video. I, I hope that this clarified things for you. And if you are looking to use both tools together, you can. You just have to take it slow, take it steady, and make sure you clean up when you're all done. I think the, the, the one step that people seem to miss out on is having to export your final changes from Luminar and just send them back to the same folder that you started in in Photo Raw. Hope you found it useful. Got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.